one of my very first videos, I talked about the difference between Durban and lightweight sanding. So this is Durban 20. This is Easy Sand 5. And I talked about the difference. What I've often said is you can pre-fill with this one. You can patch with this one. You know, can you tape with this? Yes, absolutely you can. One day patching and joint finishing. 15 minute working time, excellent bond, hard finish surface. Durabond 20, it's an excellent bond and it's a very hard surface. The reason I don't like to patch with this, I only like to pre-fill with this is because it's very hard. And if I have any high spot whatsoever, I can't knock it down. I mean, I can try, I can probably grind it with a grinder or something and get it to knock down, but I can't just knock it down easily. This one here, I can knock down a lot easier. It's an easy sand, lightweight compound. It's not easy to sand, but it will sand. I have a hard problem sanding with this. So I use this literally just to pre-fill with, but can I tape with it? Yes. Can you tape with it? I don't know. It depends on how long you've been using it. I've been. I've been messing with this product since 1976. So I have been playing with this mud here for a long time. This wasn't around in 1976, it didn't exist. Um, but I have been using this for a long, very, very, very long time. I prefer to do patches with this. And this is coming from an expert, guys, who's been doing it for a long, long time. I prefer to do patches with this. Can I? Yes. Do I prefer this for patches? Yes, I do. But this is five minute sanding mud too. Now, two, if I am using Durabond today for patching, I'm probably not using paper tape. I don't particularly care to use paper tape with Durabond. It blisters too easy. I can have blisters too, too easy. I will use the fiberglass mesh for the Durabond when I'm patching with that or I've been using a lot of this, this extra strength fiber fuse lately, and I've been using that with this, okay? Um, but truthfully, if I'm using Easy Sand 5, I will use paper tape, I will use this, I will use this, I will use anything with this. Um, in fact, if, uh, if I'm taping just patches, I'm probably gonna use this, just square patches in the middle of the wall. If I'm taping seams and stuff that are going from wall to wall or floor to ceiling, I'm probably gonna tape with this. And if I'm taping angles, I'm gonna tape with the paper tape, of course. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna try to avoid taping with this, right? But I will, I will tape angles with this product if I have to. I don't like to use anything other than paper tape and angles. So that's it, guys. I will use both of these for patching, but I prefer this for patching. And the only reason I use this for patching is because I've been working with it for many, many years. Uh, other than that, if I was new in this business, there's no way I would be patching with this product. I'd be too afraid to leave in a high spot or a hump that has to be completely floated way out now just to get rid of it. So there you go, guys. You guys have a great day. I'm gonna be doing a series of videos here right now on these skylights, but I'm gonna break them up. This is gonna be actually one video right here. And then from here, um, I'm gonna be doing some skylights and patching them all up. Again, have a great day. Hey, if you really like my videos, subscribe. And if you really, really like them, please just share them with somebody else. How do you like my new t-shirts? And you know, you also might want to check out these other videos that are playing right down here right now. So uh, just click on them. All right, subscribe. Have a great day.